Hello, precious standers. How are you? It's Lakidra. I want to thank all you all for joining me, precious people of God. Thank you all so much. You know, this is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and call out to him. Hallelujah and be glad in it. For many of you all that may be hurting and going through, you may be feeling just overwhelmed right now. But I've come to encourage you and also pray and agree with you. God would never leave you nor forsake you, people of God. Before I do that, I want to thank all of my first timers and new subscribers and you precious people of God. I welcome you all. Thank you for joining me and all your, your prayers and your support in the work of God and your encouraging comments. God bless you. And also for some that have been asking Lakidra, where can we sow? Because we are enjoying the teachings and the channel. And as a way of saying thank you for all that you do and for being a blessing to us. Well, I'll have that information as well for you guys in the bottom of the screen. So I'm so sorry for not having it available in the past, but it would be in the description box. But some unfortunately don't know how to always look that information up so i will have it for you posted at the bottom of the screen god bless you and thank you so much for your generosity you know philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 tells us paul wrote these words that are so powerful he says don't worry about nothing be careful for nothing but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and the God of peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind while you're waiting, people of God. So stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Give the situation over to God. That's what overwhelms us when we try to figure it out and when we allow our minds to race all over the place and we're we're saying lord i want to believe you but i don't know how or i don't know how i'm going to come out of this lord time is is running out it seems where are you i know people of god i've been there many of times i know what it is like when you're facing a red sea and and you're needing God to part those waters. And there is a mountain there. And it looks like you're just limited and you're stuck. And you're, you're not going to make it. But I'm here to tell you, we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Pray and not give up and trust God and thank him for what he has already given us. Because he says, when you've prayed, believe that you've received it. And it will be yours. And so I want to agree with you people of God, those of you that are hurting and you are needing help. You know, I have I have heard your requests where some could just see their spouse bound by demons and you're wondering, what can I do? Where is God? How can I get delivered from this? The evil that is rising up against me, I know that this is demonic forces and attacks oh Lakidra, what can i do i need help i have heard your requests people of god i get those emails i know it could be overwhelming and so i want to pray we're going to come against the works of the devil i'm telling you people of god casting all your cares upon the lord is the key because he cares for you where there are two or three gathered together in my name, he's in the midst of us. Where there's any two agreeing and asking of anything in my name on the earth, the Lord says, I will give it to them. I will do it. My God, hallelujah. Our trust is in him. He cannot lie, people of God. Whatever you are faced with right now, we're going to come against it. We are going to come against it in the name of Jesus. And there will be peace that surpasses all understanding to cover your, 
your heart, guard your heart and your mind in Jesus' name. For the Lord's word is true. We can stand on it. We can trust in his word. He will come through for you. He will come through for you. Nothing is too hard for God. Nothing is impossible for him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we're going to pray and thank God for hearing us. Thank him for hearing us. So now join with me, people of God, those of you that are needing strength, you're needing someone to stand with you and believe with you, you know, because I know what it's like when you're saying, Lord, I don't even know what to pray for or how I ought, how I ought to pray. But the Holy Spirit will lead in God. He will lead and guide you, people of God, and intercede on your behalf. And so we're going to let our request be made known, hallelujah, unto him who is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all you and I could ever ask or think according to the power that's at work in us. We are putting our trust in him and casting those cares upon the Lord because the Bible says, Peter said it. Said, he said the Lord cares for you we're going to come against the works of the devil through prayer and worship and thanksgiving unto God hallelujah and so father we're coming together in Jesus holy name the one who paid the price for us with his blood father God we thank you we are reaching out to you in his holy matchless name we're coming against the works of the devil, the one who is under our feet because of the blood of Jesus who has seated us in heavenly places and has caused us to be far above all principalities and powers and wicked spirits that are in high places. We are coming before the throne of grace in these times, O oh God, of troubles, and the times of needs, oh God. You said in your word, you'll give us the desires of our hearts. And so, Father God, we are coming before your throne of grace. Asking, Lord God, for you to intervene in every situation. Concerning each and every one of us that have joined you right now. You know the needs, Father God. Lord God, we are asking. For your help restoring homes, Lord God. To restore marriages. Cause husbands to be joined to their wives. Cause them to come out of these ungodly relationships. To walk away from the darkness. From the deception. From the things of this world. Renew their minds, Lord God. Cause wives as well to come back to you, Father God. For many that are standing in the gap for their spouses are calling out to you right now. Father, your word tells us that we can ask of anything in Jesus' name and it will be done. And believe that we receive it and it will be given, Lord. And so, Father, we are laying down every care on the altar. For your word tells us that you care us for us. And to lean not to our own understanding, but to acknowledge you and all that we do. And you are leading God and direct our path. Meet that need, Father God. Lord God, whether it be physical, in their physical bodies, oh God, their finances. Oh God, the peace that they are needing in their minds. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are coming against the works of the devil through the blood of Jesus. We bind every attack. We bind it in Jesus' name. We are casting down all imaginations, all wicked thoughts. Every thought that will exalt itself against the knowledge of God. I declare restoration and healing and peace. I send it forth in Jesus' holy name. And I declare and decree. That your word that is gone forth, Father, will not return back void. 
Oh, we bind the strategies, the plots and the plans of the enemy. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, wake up spouses that have fallen asleep. Oh God, wake up those that are away from you, that their wives, their spouses are right now standing in the gap for. Lord, soften their hearts and minds. We praise you and thank you for it now. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that has reversed the curse. We praise your holy name. We worship you. We come against the spirit of discord, the spirit of deception, the spirit of, of sexual immorality. We come against this whoredom spirit. We judge it in Jesus' name and bind it. We sever every wicked root every wicked tree we cut it down in the mighty name of jesus with the sword of the spirit we send forth your word lord god sending forth healing to bind up oh god the broken hearts lord god the hearts that are wounded in jesus name to loose the spirit of heaviness in jesus name and that they will be clothed now with the garments of praise and peace let every broken heart, Lord God, be binded up. Their wounds be healed in Jesus' name, oh God, and comfort their hearts and mind. Every everyone that has joined me, Lord, and we are trusting you. We are thanking you that our marriages are healed and they will never be the same. And I stand in the gap, Lord God, for everyone that has joined me. And we are declaring, Lord, victory. Praise your name as it is written in your word. A man leaves his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and the two are united into one. This is a great mystery, but it is an illustration, Lord, your word says. It is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. Cause husbands to love their wives as Christ loved the church and wives to submit to their husbands and everything. Cause unity, Lord God. Cause like-mindedness, Lord God, and peace in these marriages and homes and restoration and healing to come forth. We bind the spirit of divorce and hostility and enmity. We declare and decree you have been torn down. You have been torn down. You have been put to death. As the word says, you have been nailed to the cross through the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bind these evil works, these satanic attacks. In the minds we come against them that is working in the minds of wayward spouses now. We come against the spirit of witchcraft in Jesus' name. Lord, begin to put the desires in the hearts of the spouses that have left the homes. That has walked out, Lord God, of their marriages. That has gone out into the world, Lord God. That has started these ungodly relationships and soul ties. We break them, Lord God. We come against them in Jesus' name. Snatch them back, Father God. Snatch them back from the flames, oh God, and the deception of the enemy that has come in to destroy, Lord God. To kill, steal, and to destroy. We come against your works, Satan, in Jesus' name. We bind them. We come against it with the blood of Jesus. We come against all the attacks of the devil in Jesus' name. We resist you. You are commanded to flee. You are commanded to leave these homes and marriages now. Oh God, I send forth your peace. Thank you that eyes are opening. Thank you that spouses are returning home. They are getting in contact. They are being filled with the desires of the Holy Spirit. Baptize them, Lord, in the Holy Spirit. Send forth your angels, Lord God, to break the fetters, the chains, the ropes, the things that had them bound. Cause your angels, oh God, to excel in strength in Jesus' name and contend with all those that have contended with these marriages and spouses and homes that have come against these homes and marriages and the relationships that you have joined together, Father. For your word says what you have joined together. Let no man separate, none. 
And so we judge these things. We bind them. We send them back in the name of Jesus. We send them back where they come from in the name of Jesus and let them all be destroyed. These plots and plans and strategies, let them all be destroyed with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you for the anointing that is breaking every yoke of bondage in Jesus' name. And we're declaring peace, restoration, deliverance, righteousness, godliness prevails and reign in our marriages and homes. Joy and peace and love reigns in Jesus' name. Godliness and righteousness and dignity and honor towards one another reigns and rule in these marriages. And we call them illustrating Christ and the church united into one. We call them healed, these marriages now in Jesus' name. We call our spouses saved right now in Jesus' name. We call them delivered and set free right now in Jesus' name. We declare and decree their eyes are opening. Their minds are being enlightened. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We declare it done in Jesus' name. And every mountain thrown into the sea now in the name of Jesus. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. And all the people of God give you the praise. We give you the glory and honor. We praise your holy name. We glorify you. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for rescuing families now in Jesus' name. And all the people of God, we worship you. We praise you. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for being with us. And as long as you be for us, nothing can stand against us. For greater is you that is in us than he that is in this world, Lord God. Bless your holy name and all the people of God that agree with this prayer says amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Continue thanking him, people of God, and declare his word over your marriage. Never give up. Don't get discouraged. Keep yourself encouraged. As David did, he encouraged himself when he had lost everything. When he lost his family, when he lost his city, everything was burned to the ground. Things looked hopeless, but he recovered all. He recovered all when he pursued, when he took his authority, when he stood up, when he came against his enemy. Hallelujah. And that's what we are doing as we come together in prayer, declaring God's righteousness declaring God's righteous cause for your family, your marriage, your spouse to come out, you will recover all, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Remember that God loves you and I love you too. And thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye.